Welcome to musicmoveit.com. And today, I want to talk about how you can basically start up a record label and be totally legit. Now, back in the days, I used to see a lot of guys, they'd be like, oh, I own my own label. And all they did was just find a couple friends and got their friends together and recorded an album and just put it out. And they're not even like, you know, licensed anywhere. So people were so quick to say, oh, I started my own company or my own label. And it's not even really, they don't even pay taxes on it probably. So, but if you want to be legit, it's really easy. All you got to do, of course, starting out, you just got to think of a good name. You want a really good name for your label that's catchy and, you know, nothing ridiculous. Like, I would never do a Cash Money Records right now. That's just, I mean, it's, it's cool for what it is, but it's kind of ridiculous when you think of it now. Do something that stands out, but catchy, but just not weird. Then you want to, um, you should trademark it. That costs a little bit more money, and if you don't have a huge budget to do that right now, you could get away with it for a little while. But if someone else has that name, and you start selling a lot of records, there's going to be a problem. So it's best to trademark your name for your record company right away if you can. If you can't, just be aware that you may run into some trouble down the line. Now, after you have a good name, you want a good logo. Like I said before, there's a website called Fiverr. If you're not good at drawing or doing... If you're not good with Photoshop or things like that, there's a website called Fiverr, fiverr.com, F-I-V-E-R-R.com. And there's tons of people that will do things for five bucks. Uh, and a lot of them, some of them will draw, uh, draw you up logos and things like that. They'll help you with it. And that's a, it's a great thing to just farm it out to someone else if you don't have the skills to do it. Or if you know someone, that's even better. But if you absolutely have no one else to do your logo, Go to Fiverr.com. They can help. Once you get a good logo, a good name, of course, you know, you want to get business cards done. You should get letterhead done, which is basically, you know, pieces of paper with your logo and address and phone number at the top of it. And then you can write print letters if you need to send a letter to someone uh, business-wise, business of course. Then you need to register your business with your state. And the easiest way to do that is, to me, is go to LegalZoom.com. You can Google it. I'm sure you heard of it. And they have these packages where they do the, all this stuff for you for like a, a, you know, not a horribly bad fee. So it's they make it fairly simple to start a company. They put together all the paperwork for you and they file it. And they do all that stuff for you. LLC is a limited liability corporation. It's the best way to go, you know, for a record label. Obviously, if you get real big, you'll want to step it up to like a corporation or something. But LLC is great to start, not that expensive. And, you know, it's a good way to start out. And, of course, after that, once you're filed with the proper people, you know, you will get a tax ID number. And... You just need talent. And if you need, you know, you need, you'll probably need a few people that you want to hire, either freelance people or just straight up employees. And uh, honestly, as a record label in this day and age, I would start out as just doing digital releases. There's no need to release CDs anymore unless, I mean, the people that can get away with releasing CDs and making money are the majors that can put them in every store across the country but a small indie label I, I don't see a point to really putting out cds anymore just do it digitally maybe you could do a short run of cds and sell them at your shows but that's about it there's no reason unless you have a humongous budget and you could actually get all these cds across the nation and worldwide even you know i mean it's just not worth pressing up a thousand cds really that might just sit on the shelves anyway locally you know what i mean just do it digitally and it's that's all you need really i mean of course, you know, you got to deal with like copywriting songs and if you get artists, you're going to want to trademark their name. You know, all that other stuff comes along with it. But just the basic startups, that's all you really need. And it's not too difficult. You do need somewhat of a budget. Also, I almost forgot, and this is a huge thing. Write a business plan. Write a good business plan that you will follow. And you could change as needed. 
And of course, a business plan is basically an outline of your business, what you're trying to achieve, you know, financially, all that stuff. So it's pretty simple to be legit and always pay your taxes. Follow your taxes at the end of the year. Don't skip out on them. Even if, you know, it just seems like it's not worth it, do it. <laughs> Still file your taxes. That's how you can be a legit small record label. And you want to be legit and you want to look pro. <laughs> now, if you want to uh, learn more on how to release an album, like I always say, check out our ebook. It's at www.yourmusicrelease.com. You could download it, print it, read it on any device Android, uh, Kindle, all that good stuff. And if you need help with business plans, writing one, we also have another great ebook that I will put uh, a link to. So definitely check that out as well. And subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I will see you guys soon with more great advice on how to release your music and how to become a better recording artist or band or whatever you want to try to be. Thank you.